I've always asked why to every question. Everything bugged me, kind of, because there's so much information uh, that you have to make sense of. I mean, from the moment you're born, you know. And um, well, my dad was, first of all, very uh, a big fan of science. So everything he would talk to me about, he would make it very uh, visual and scientific. So I kind of developed this thing where I'm not going to do something unless there's a logical reason to do so. I think my dad was telling me about how lightning works, because there was lightning and I was scared. And then I had this questions that I started asking, well, where does it come from, the sky? And then I zoomed out and I saw the Earth, and then I zoomed out and I saw the stars and galaxy. And then I asked, but what's, what else? What else is there? You know? And then I forgot about it, I got into music. I went to music school and I graduated from Berkeley with mechanical engineering degree, but I was really uh, always interested in astrophysics. I mean, I've had to realize that the undergraduate degree doesn't have to define your career path. My last semester I took astrophysics um, class and I just fell in love with it uh, by second week, I think, with SETI. I've got to go with them and uh, to Green Bank and install some new instruments. And they have a bunch of different scientific uh, instruments that get the data uh, for different purposes, like studying pulsars uh, or whatnot. In light of the recent funding, um, they want to kind of get more data at a higher speed. So I'll be figuring out how to write uh, high-speed data to disks, and there are going to be a lot of them because now we can purchase more and uh, have more space. And then once we've recorded everything, uh, we want to uh, process it later. With so we don't have to process data real time, which means we don't need as much uh, operations and as much power at the time. So things can run slower later. For example, when you first record the data, you record everything for a given uh, bandwidth, right? And then GPUs will do all the calculations because GPUs are really good at that. Then you have like, compressed the data. Uh, so it's a very a much a smaller set of data can be then stored on other disks that then could be sent back to Berkeley for analysis and then there'll be a separate team that analyzes this and sees, okay, these were all potential hits and then the, pot the potential hits will come with uh, the constellation. Where was the telescope pointing at the time of the potential hit? Well, so far it's been three months. I feel like uh, it was another language when I came in here. Uh, but for some reason I was drawn to it. I think signals are very interesting. Just the world is populated with signals, our communication, uh, be it radio or not, is all signals, all these waves that are in space. And I mean, music is like waves, you know, strings generate waves, like acoustics, and they're signals through you know, air. When we moved to US from Uzbekistan uh, 10 years ago, I um, didn't have access to piano for a while, so that gave me like a little discharge moment of focusing on science. And mechanical engineering, I think, stemmed from the idea of. Uh, well, I watched Star Trek, and I really, I mean, I was a big fan of red shirts, because they you know, did all the cool stuff, you know, power to the engines. I was a president of a Star Trek club in high school. Uh, I watched the, I didn't start with series, I started with movies, and then I started reading Star Trek books, then I got into series, and then I decided to have the uh, Star Trek club, which was not what you would think it is. It's not like we watch Star Trek all the time. I was more interested in the science part. So I would come and be the guest lecturer every time. <laughs> and whatever I learned in the physics class, uh, the hour before lunch, I would bring to the lecture. And it was mostly like, because in introductory physics, you learned about blocks like sliding on these. You know, eventually I think a bunch of people branched out and started like just watching Star Trek. <laughs> We could be hit with a message from aliens right now and we just can't decode it because our technology is not up to speed. The whole purpose is to keep uh, revolutionizing the technology. So at some point we could get the signal and decode it. And once we do, you know, we will send a signal back a million years later. <laughs> our, our ancestors, <laughs> you know, we'll get it back. But um, yeah, I think it's progress in the right direction and it needs to happen. And, it's important. I mean, it's kind of right now, m most of the people realize that we're probably not alone. We're not as special and wonderful. I mean, we are special and wonderful, but not uh, more so than anything else in the universe.